Here I am now in Gator Park. Airboat tours. Boats there. They're ready to load up. Tickets for two. Right, Tam? Take the uh, second row. Second row. Ready. Little Oreo. You want set? Oh, we got the second. He said second row. Did he tell you second row as yeah. well? Yeah, one of the kids should be at the edge. You can see. Oh, I can raise both. I'm actually probably too. Oh, here we are uh, getting on our airboat. Get everybody those earplugs, okay? You don't need them right now. I will let you know when you need them, okay? When you do open them up, those wrappers go in your pocket or your purse. When we come back, make sure you get my good side. <laughs> those wrappers, please put them in your pocket or your purse. When we come back, the wrappers obviously going to go inside the garbage can, not inside the boat or outside the boat, along with those earplugs, okay? Uh, guys, don't forget, alligators can jump two-thirds of their body length out of the water. Okay? Don't worry about that. Nice. Yeah, there, yeah. there is safety in numbers down here. You don't have to be faster than the alligator, just faster than the people you're with. See how that works? Okay. Tell me. I'll trip. Are they like relatives or married or what? Sometimes family's not that good. <laughs> So anyways, guys, um, hats, make sure that they're all nice and tight. There's only a couple of people with them, okay? Uh, just make sure they're all nice and tight. If it flies off your head, pretty much kiss the goodbye. All right? Are you all ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How long is the tour-ish? Are you in a hurry? No, I don't. I just want to know, like, you know, what to expect. All right, should be like 30, 40 minutes. Gators. It's going to be an hour. Depends if we break down or not. Okay. We have to walk back. Sure. <laughs> With the swim back. <laughs> It's probably longer. You know, I have a personal boat. And when I have friends that come over and they tell me, oh, I have to be back on the dock by a certain time, I usually leave them on the dock. Because <laughs> I don't have a time to come back. Yay. No, guys, we'll be uh, it's about 40 minutes or so. All right, cool. Okay? Yay. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Hey guys, you see that bird up there in that uh, telephone pole up here on the left? Yeah. yeah. They're really cool birds, man. They're called coomerangs. Okay, it's not about.
material right there. There's a right turtle there. right there on the, yeah. on the bank. Okay. Uh, the lily pads are called spatter dog right lilies. There. They provide shelter for the fish. The turtles love to eat the petals off the yellow flowers, okay? The tree almost in front of the boat, about 1 o'clock on the boat, with the little thin leaves that is called a willow tree, okay? <laughs> I see him. By the way, that is the tallest bird out here in the Everglades. He's four feet tall with a six foot wingspan. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. you with your nuts. <laughs> so when I sit down, I'm going to walk right here on the side of the boat so I can talk to you guys. I'll get up to the front. Just screw over a little bit. Oh, oh. Oh. Thank you, sir. Right, you guys can sit down. Relax. I just like to know where people live. So where do you guys live? Orange County, California. All right. This is water. Yeah. <laughs> Notice, I, everybody says California. I met your warrant. Everybody laughs, right? How about you guys? Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Virginia. Virginia. Texas. 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 Austin. All right. Everything's larger in Texas, right? It is. England. 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 Yeah. Across the pond. <laughs> it's tea time. All right. How about you guys? Illinois. Illinois. Arizona. Arizona. 
Do you guys have humidity like this? Like no. no. It's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. You blow dry your hair, you walk outside, poof, instant <laughs> volume, right? He doesn't have that problem. No. <laughs> How about you guys? No, the ones here with the masks. Mm -hmm. I can't recognize yeah. them. Yeah. New York. New York. Yeah. Okay. Scary place. <laughs> okay. Arizona. Arizona? Jersey. Jersey. Can you reach? Well, you know, Jersey also. <laughs> That's what gives it that little zing. <laughs> okay. Now, as far as the depth goes, I got this one. You see mud there? Yeah. Okay. There's mud underneath my fingernails. It's only this deep. Which means that if the boat sinks like the Titanic, please do not panic. At that point, this becomes a walking tour. Are you going down with your ship? Captains go down with the ship. I'm just a skipper. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't remember Gilligan's Island, do you? Of course. We're not old enough. Yeah. I am. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so really, we're not. <laughs> well, you ought to look into it. Now, so you guys know how big the Everglades used to be back in the 1900s, about 12 million acres. And the Everglades does start north of here in Orlando, Florida, at the Kissimmee River. The river flows south and enters Lake Okeechobee. Lake Okeechobee fills, overflows, and enters what we call today the Everglades, which means River of the Grass. There is Keys or been to the keys? Yeah. That 18 mile stretch going south, right hand side. Is he seasick? Yeah. There's no motion out there. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> well, you know, I think it was too much tequila. <laughs> well, <laughs> who wants to go in? Hey, I guess we're staying out here. Uh, he should be fine. Really, he's seasick out here. There's no ocean out here. It's flat, calm waters. Wow. First time. Okay. Anyways, when you guys drive down that 18 mile stretch, it's part of the Everglades National Park on the right hand side. That's where we're going to find crocodiles and your manatees. Okay? Now, there's a difference between alligators and crocodiles, so you guys know. By the way, it's the only place in the world you will find both of them coexisting in the same ecosystem. Alligators. Freshwater crocodiles, saltwater. Alligators are black, crocodiles are tan. Alligators have the U shapes now, and of course, the crocs have the V shapes now. Alligators have 80 teeth, crocodiles have 60. Both species can lose up to 3,000 teeth in a lifetime, life expectancy, 50 to 60 years in the water. Well, the teeth just break off. Yeah, it's, they gener regenerate them just like sharks. Somebody at my last tour told me it's just like humans. <laughs> <laughs> you get all kinds out here. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> when the alligator closes his mouth, you always see the top row of teeth that have an overbite. <laughs> On the crocodiles, you see the top and the bottom. <laughs> Reminds me of my ex-wife. <laughs> it's okay, she's here with us. <laughs> Just kidding. I know you've been filmed. <laughs> Anyways, guys. <laughs> Alligators have a tongue. Crocodiles, no tongue. If you don't believe me, check for yourself and get back to me on that one. Okay? Now, by 1989, we had consumed the Everglades from about, from until, down to about 3.5 million acres, guys. And that's when they declared all this national park. Everything is not protected. All right? From how much Small little islands you might have seen coming out here, those are called heads. Eventually, those heads will become an island out here, which is called a hammock. In Spanish, it's called amaca. Okay? Now, there is 
Anamaka way out there. See it? Yep, don't hit it. Well, trees and airboats don't mix. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's way out there. We're not going that far. Okay. But I just want to make sure you saw it because I see you know, it. of the challenge that you have. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I pick on everybody. But anyways, <laughs> show people up front. <laughs> on these islands, solid ground. It's the only place, and that's also where the Mikasuki Indians used to live back in the days. Okay. They obviously don't live there. What's left out here? Well, we have a few animals. We have deer, hogs, raccoons, opossums, and otters. All of these animals migrate from hammock to hammock without a problem. Okay. Second part of the Everglades lies another 30 minute car drive west of here. It's called the Big Cypress Preserve. Now over there, there is more land, less water. We will find the same animals we have here along with the Florida black bear, the Florida panther, coyotes, bobcats, foxes, skunks, squirrels, turkeys, armadillos, and rabbits. South Florida has 28 different species of snakes. We have the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, the Pygmy Rattlesnake, the Water Moccasin, and the Coral Snake, guys. Those are your four. And of course, we have a huge problem out here with one particular snake, which is called the Burmese Python. You guys heard of it? Yeah. Largest one that I know it's been caught on, huh? Can they eat it? <laughs> we came across one that was wrapped around a deer that weighed 110 pounds. Ooh. It was 18 feet in length. The largest one I think has been 21 feet in length. For those of you on the wrong side of the scale, that's about, you know, six meters long, wrapped around the deer that weighed about 110 pounds, about 50, about 50 kilos. Okay? How you feel? You feel all right? All right. Yeah. Once you get it all out, those demons, you're good. Okay. We just, come, we just did an exorcism. <laughs> All right. Um, that python got here because people used to purchase them as pets. Now, unfortunately, I'm gonna say a good, over 50% of the plants that we have out here are invasive, and at least 70% of the uh, animals are invasive. It's just the way it is. Miami's one giant melting pot for everything. Okay, uh, if you do ever, if you ever do purchase an animal, okay, and it's an exotic and you don't want it anymore, please find a home for it, take it back to the, where you purchased it, don't release it into the wild because right now it's a cancer for the Everglades and we've lost approximately 80% of the small animals due to this snake. And the larger ones are eating the deer, the hogs, coyotes, and some of them are even eating our alligators. Okay. Any questions so far about the airboat, the Everglades, my personal life, or where the bathroom is? Have you seen any of the pythons on this tour? Not on the tour, but we have seen them on the road. If you're oh. interested in looking for them, uh, at nighttime, it's nice and cool. You can drive that levee, have some flashlights, and I'm sure that you will find us at least two to three up here on that levee. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And it's free. Yeah. And interesting. Yeah. And you can film the whole thing. You know, I can. Nice to catch one. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, any questions about the airboat, the Everglades, my personal life, or where the bathroom is? Nothing? Do we have a tide out here? No. How do you know? No? Just a need for air conditioning. No tide. Does the, the water go up yeah, and down? Go up and down. Oh, I thought you said a tide. Do we have tide out here? <laughs> yeah. No. No, we're too far inland. Okay, that's only going to be in the coastal areas. Okay, but little things like that, you know? See, they didn't know. Some of you didn't know. So, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I, if I don't know the answer, I always try to find the answer for you guys. Have you ever had an alligator jump in? They said you can. Not goes here. Up third of it. <laughs> Not in this park, but I did have one jump in the boat before. Yeah. He was on the bank. He just decided to take off. He just. Wow. Yeah, it was not a big deal. 
I was up there, I got a big seat, so. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Do you have something to shoot it with it? Why? <laughs> we are the ones invading their territory, their home. All we have to do is respect it. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not on the menu. <laughs> okay. Yes. How long was, has that python been here invading the space? Since the seventies. Oh. Which one is this, jumper or lily? Lily. Ah. Don't worry about jumper. Don't worry about lily. <laughs> so how long she's been hanging out here for? Well, today, just about all day. Okay. Yeah. Remember, it's cold at night. They are cold-blooded animals, and they do require the sun. You have to bring up the body temperature to at least 78 degrees in order for them to function. Okay? I'm going to move up a and of course, that's what they do all day long. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. The males during mating season, the only thing. Nice.